Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation and build to the cut of the lady in half trick you would have seen yesterday. We are going to build this card. Oh, you see something there? That was a mistake that I did, so when I showed it I had to do this with my hand. But we're going to build this card. So we'll just put that back together. So we'll get my chopping block. Right, you're going to need a few bits. You're going to need three cards. Two of these cards are going to be the same suit. Same card, in fact, and a completely random card. And you're also going to use... Now, I use one of these brown pay envelopes. Now, the Waddington's cards fit into these envelopes, but the bicycle cards do not fit into these type of money wallets. Well, but the Waddington's fit into these. So whatever you use, I did build a different one and this was just on a folded piece of paper, look. Just a folded piece of card. But whatever card you use, you're going to need two of them. You'll see why in a minute. So we just get rid of all that. So to start with, we're going to take one of these jacks and we're going to cut the center out. Now what I have noticed as well, is because when these cards are printed, they are not printed exactly the same. So the borders might not be quite in the same position in the card, which is a bit of a pain. So what I've done, I've stuck my jack down just so I can hold it still. And I'm gonna cut round the border of the jack. So I'm using a really sharp knife. And instead of moving that, I'm just going to spin this block round. So we're going to take our time. We're going to cut this centre out of this card. Now, this is a trick I saw on Alfonso Solis's channel. He said I could show it and reveal it. So here you go, Alfonso. Great little idea. Great little illusion. And just imagine if you got a top of the box gaff, guys, you could get rid of this gimmick as well, couldn't you? You could ditch the gimmick and then show them a regular card. So we're going to keep this piece. We can get rid of this piece. We do not need that anymore. But I'm just going to take that slight burr off there. So that's the first stage done. Second stage, um, what I tend to do is, if I want a template of something, this is three Waddington's cards stuck together as a template. Because you need to um, get whatever card you're gonna use, whatever color paper, and you need to stick it on this card. So I'm gonna get a little bit of glue just on the face of this, just a little bit, just so it will stay in position. And I'm going to stick that on here, wherever it needs to be. And I'm just going to carefully cut around the outside. Now it's much easier if you've got a block of a few cards than trying to cut around one card. It's easier to stay in the lines. So we just get rid of this and just trim off the corners. If you've got some sharp little scissors, you can do that. Just trim these off. That's it, and I'm gonna peel this off before it sticks too much. And then you're gonna get your indifferent card, the seven of clubs, for instance, and you're gonna glue stick the face of this card Put a good amount of glue on it all around the corners and edges. And you're going to stick this piece perfectly onto it. Now if you've got any bits showing you can trim them off. 
bit better with some sharp scissors. You can see a little bit there. I might get my scissors out in a minute. So you've got that stuck on there, but from this side you can't see it. You can see a little bit on the edges, we'll sort that out in a bit. So that's that done. That's that done. You can put that aside for a minute. You're going to take your other card you're using, the jack. And once again, I'm going to stick this card to my chopping block so I know it's not going to move. Like that. Let's just put this out the way for a minute. Get rid of some of this junk. Get rid of that. Right, you're just going to... Now the jack is good because you've got complete colour across here which will hide the line. So I'm going to put my ruler right on the end of the card there and I'm going to slice through here. Right, where is my knife? What? Oh, it's here. Right, you need a really sharp knife for this. And what you're going to do, you're going to cut it on an angle. Maybe a 45 degree angle. I'll show you why in a minute. But it needs to be square because this needs to slide in and out. So you might have to go through twice. And then spin this round. Same again. Get it on the top of the card. And slice through this bit. On an angle again. That's that. Right, just keep that safe so you know which way round the cut went. And I'm just going to get a bit of paper and show you just quickly why you cut it on an angle. Let's say this is your card. I'm exaggerating the thickness of it. But if you were to cut it straight down, you'd have a straight cut. Cutting on an angle, slight angle, gives it a slight chamfer only very slightly but when that card slides under it will hold it there that chamfer will hold the card in place when it slides I hope that's clear enough but that's why you cut on an angle right you're going to get your bit of your card um, where's my other card right this piece here now you're going to stick this over the top like that so you're going to get some glue on here. Make sure it's not too much on your hands. And you're going to stick this piece right in the top here. Get it all square with that card underneath. Stick it down. Now this piece here, it went that way round, was going to go in there like that. And it should hopefully slide. You'll have a little chamfer so that'll slide under the chamfer. And now you're going to stick this piece on the bottom. So I'm going to place that where it needs to be. Get my glue stick and glue stick this a bit. And once again, you're gonna stick this piece down. sure everything squares up so this piece should slide slide out I'm 
It looks like one card from this side, yeah. I've just got to sort these edges out a bit. So you're in that position now. Now you're going to get this piece that you cut off earlier on. And you're going to stick that over there. Now what I mean by these border lines don't meet up so much. This edge here doesn't look right. Because when they print these cards, they are never printed exactly. Bicycles are really bad for it, I've noticed. So you're going to stick that over there now. But you're not going to put any glue on this piece. You're just going to stick around this piece and around this piece. So just be careful with your glue stick. You don't want any on that bit that's moving. And then you're going to get this. You're going to stick that over the top. Let me just get this glue off my hands. So now you should be in a position when you've got a card for all intents and purposes. Certain angles you can see the slip mark, you can see it more because the light shining on it. Without this light shining on it, it's practically invisible from certain angles. So you're going to have a card which is completely solid from the back. They won't see any cut lines on the borders, which is fantastic. And because you've got that bit of paper, when you slide this open, they will see that same colour. And because you've got that chamfer, this card is held under the lip of these two. So it should hopefully go back under here okay. So right, you've built your gimmick, we've put that aside. And we'll get the one that Gaffer built earlier on. Let's get rid of this chopping block. So all I've done, I've got a pay envelope, I've cut a little slit in the side and a hole at the front. Because it's got this paper, it looks like you've, um, you're showing the back of this card, but you're not, it's the paper. But I did make a mistake of putting a red card here, I didn't even realise that at the time. So you're just going to cut a hole that is big enough to see the bit that you're going to tear out, but you cannot see the cut lines. The cut lines are a few mil above the hole, so the hole, you cannot see the cut lines through the hole. Look. So obviously you're going to do your trick, whatever you're going to do. I just That was a bit of um, throwing you off the scent, a bit of a red herring. But you're going to do your whatever, your miracle. And when you open this up, it looks like they're seeing the back of the envelope, but they're not. They're seeing inside the card. Now, had it have been a red, a blue card, I could have showed the back as well, couldn't I? But that's why I had to cover it. I didn't even realise. And then that should hopefully slide back into position. And you can reveal this car to be intact. Now, like I say, if you've got the top of the box gaff, you could steal this card away to reveal a regular queen, couldn't you? So that is the gimmick built, guys. Be aware when you stick this down, just every now and again, just release this, because you might find there's a little bit of residue of glue and it will stick tight. And I've just got to trim these ends off when I get my scissors, but that's it. No magnets. No stripping of cards, a little bit of glue, a knife and a little bit of time. So comment, subscribe, like and thank you Alfonso Solis. Cheers.